Guess what we get to talk about on a Friday night? Rainbows. I know. Doesn't that just make you happy? If it's not Twinkies and it's not French fries, now you're giving us rainbows. Yeah. French I love fries, it. Twinkies, rainbows, the weekend. <laughs> and what more could you ask for? Half of that name means rain. Oh. <laughs> uh oh, I, I, might have, I was prepared for this, <laughs> but I understand what you're saying. Yes, you need rain, right? Well, let's see the question, or let's hear the question from another weather whiz kid from Galileo Math and Science School. Hi, my name is Paige, and I go to Galileo, and this is my question. Is it true that sun and water make a rainbow? Great question there, Paige, and a great drawing as well. Did you see the drawing of the rainbow there? She says, is it true that water and sun make a rainbow. Those are the two things that you need because here's what's happening again. If you hadn't heard this before, when you see the rainbow here, it's sheets of raindrops acting as a prism. And if you're not sure what the prism is, it's that triangular piece of glass you see in science class. It takes regular white light and it bends it. As it bends it, it slows it down. And then it, because it slows it down at different speeds, the colors of the rainbow, the colors of the spectrum come out. White light is made up of all of these colors right here. In fact, if you took one of those power sanders, have your, have your parents parents do this and uh, you put all the colors of the rainbow on then you spin it you turn it on and spin it, it will turn white so that's the white light but it slows it down you see all those colors come out so all the little tiny raindrops act as prisms and so the sun has to be shining in so the sun has to be shining while it's raining that's a question we answered earlier and then uh, the sun goes through the raindrop slows it down then you see that separation of the light the white light into the visible spectrum and it can be absolutely beautiful this is my favorite rainbow shot here it's hard to see down the bottom of the the screen but there's a, uh, a barn down here this shot was in in uh, the magic valley this is a beautiful picture of a rainbow and if you want to know the colors of the rainbow you, you you remember the I guess you call it an acronym Roy G Biv okay so Roy R-O-Y that's red orange yellow okay and then the G for green so we're into green now Biv blue indigo violet that's how you remember the, that's one way you can remember if you really feel like saying that, the colors of the rainbow. But I like showing this picture because it's an excellent shot. If you've got some great photos, again, we're going to compile them and get them on the air for you here. You can email me at icontribute at kivitv.com and we'll get those on the air for you. Why are rainbows curved? Are they actually a big circle and we only see half of it? That's exactly right. Okay. In fact, <laughs> it is a full disc. It is a full complete circle and it's quite intricate the way it goes on. Okay, there you go. Your That's rainbow connection. That's Scott. <laughs> and we'll have more of that another time. <laughs>